If you're installing a herringbone tile floor, uh, in this video I'm going to give you some tips on how to get it done right without running into trouble. So this is the video for you. Okay, so I'm installing this uh, 4x12 tile, it's a porcelain tile, and it's going to have a double border. So, so you can see there's one piece of border right here, and there's going to be a, another one like that going all the way around, all the way around four sides. But right now, I'm just putting in one side, side, so that I can get my straight edge and keep it straight. And then I'm cutting all these, all the little pieces, all at once, so I can go up to my, my border. Now, I'm using a 3 8 inch square notch trowel, so it's a quarter by 3 8 deep by a quarter. And that's really all you need for this tile. You, and you don't even really have to back butter these tiles. You just press it in, move it around, and then when you pick it up, you're going to see that it's got very good coverage. That's 100%. So the important is to mix your, your thin set right. So, so no need to back butter these smaller tiles. If you want to, it's not going to hurt. But for these smaller tiles, you really don't need to. So, because this is really narrow, I'm going to come straight down here now. And then I'm going to come down here. And I got my laser square touching all the points of those tiles. So, I'm to make sure that I keep straight. And then when I get to this side, because well, I can't do that today because I just have no room to work. So, when I get to this side today, uh, tomorrow I can I'll work on top of the tile and cut those in so I'm gonna go fill this in to about here and I'm gonna go down this way and then <laughs> I'm probably gonna um, it can only go to a certain point because then I can't get out so I'm kind of limited with access the other way where I can go in and out so this is Schluter the set then set unmodified on the Ditra. This is regular Ditra. 3 8 inch deep trowel, quarter by 3 8 by quarter square notch. I'm using these spaces here. Don't leave, you don't need a leveling system on these tiles because they're you know they're small enough you don't really need it. Um, so that's it. There's gonna be a threshold in that doorway, a threshold in that doorway. So I'm just gonna continue on along here. Go as far as I can before my work myself into a corner here. Okay, so when you're doing a, a herringbone like this with the with a border, um, really any time, you need to make sure that you're absolutely straight uh, with your pattern. You have to stay straight and square. And when you put your lines down, like you can see the lines that I have on the on the Dietra there those are guidelines just to get me started and then I have that straight edge along uh, along the floor there that is to keep my border straight you want to make sure you maintain um, your grout lines all the same you say stay straight square and and you don't deviate from from square okay so you do if you do deviate from square you're gonna find that your grout lines are either gonna open up or they're gonna close up and you're gonna find it very difficult to bring it back so you have to make sure that you keep true to your pattern and you maintain your grout lines and you stay straight and square uh, that's pretty much true any tile job that you do uh, but it's especially important when you're doing a pattern uh, like a herringbone So, you know, I always use, I pretty much always use a, a, an uncoupling membrane and most of the time it's Dietra, although I have used other ones. But anytime you do that, you, 
you always want to make sure that you completely fill the depressions. Uh, in this case, they look like like squares and other membranes. They might be some other shape, but you want to make sure you, sure you completely fill those. Um, that's why I will always use the flat side of the trowel to fill the you know the, the pattern in the uncoupling membrane, and then I'll go back and make my trowel lines uh, with the correct size trowel to set the tile. And wherever possible, you want to make sure that you keep the lines going all the same way so that you can collapse those ridges and get good coverage. So when you do a herringbone pattern uh, on a floor or on a backsplash or whatever it may be, you want to put some thought into the layout. On um, this pattern, on one side, you're going to have a repeating cut where they're all going to be the same size. Then on the 90 degree angle to that, you're going to have uh, a recurring number of cuts. They're all not going to be the same size. Uh, so you're going to have uh, several sizes to cut. So to make your life easier, you want to make sure that you like on this long floor where you got um, two long sides and two short sides, you want to make sure that you get the long sides so that they all have the same repeating cut so you can cut them all at once. Okay, so if this is the first time seeing my videos, my name is Sal de Blasi. I'm a tile contractor in the Boston area. I've been installing tile for over 35 years. The channel has over 750 videos of uh, how-to videos and um, where I talk about tile in general also and they give lots and lots of tips and tricks and tutorials so uh, check my uh, channel out if you need some help installing your tile so if you get a chance check me out on patreon if you can support me there that'd be great you leave your comments in the comment section below and as always don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching also, I ha I'll leave some links to some relevant products in the in the description, and also a link to my Amazon uh, store. So uh, check that out. And like always, as I just said, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Okay, so I kind of worked myself into a corner here. This is the way it is. So, I'll continue this. Okay, because I didn't have a lot of room uh, to move around, and, uh, I, you know, and there was no way to work my way out of the, the house, um, this is the next day I left. So I'm on top of town that I said the day before. So I put my straight edge down on the opposite side so I can lay my border tile in and then I pre-cut all the tiles that go up to the border because they're all the same size and now I'm going to continue on.
Okay, so that's it. The flaws installed. Hopefully you found uh, a few of the tips that I gave you useful. Thanks for watching.